Hello students, welcome. Today we will explore finance rules, a valuable tool for determining the nature of chemical bonds between atoms. This presentation is designed to help students who may find it challenging to grasp this concept in a typical classroom setting. Feel free to interact with me by sharing your questions in the comments section. I am Adi Chavardhan, creator of AdiChemistry.com from Warangal. Let us begin our discussion by exploring polarization, a fundamental concept in comprehending finance rules. Just to note, you can pronounce it as Fayan or Fajan. You know that a pure ionic bond is essentially an electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions without involvement of sharing of electrons between them. In an idealized pure ionic bond, the electron cloud is spherically symmetrical around the nuclei of ions as shown on the screen. Nevertheless, in real world scenarios, the situations are not so straightforward. Most chemical bonds fall somewhere between the extremes of pure ionic and pure covalent bonding. Here we observe a partial sharing of electrons along with electrostatic attraction between ions. In reality, when a cation approaches the anion, it pulls the electron density around the anion causing the electron cloud around the anion to distort as shown by the animation. The electron density is now unevenly distributed around the nucleus of anion. The side facing cation will get more electron density due to attraction from the cation. This phenomenon is known as polarization of the anion introducing a degree of covalent character to the bond between the ions. It is worth noting that while cations can also slightly be distorted, we can safely neglect this and focus our discussion on the polarization of anions only. It is crucial to emphasize that the greater the degree of polarization of anion, the greater the covalent character exhibited by the bond. Now let us explore the factors that influence the polarization of anions. There are two key factors to consider. First one is polarizing power of cation and the second one is polarizability of anion. I will elaborate on each of these factors one by one. As we have discussed already, the polarizing power refers to the cation's ability to induce polarization in the anion. The polarizing power depends on both the size as well as the charge on the cation. Smaller cations possess greater polarizing power and this power increases as the cation size decreases. Therefore, the covalent character increases with a decrease in the size of cation. Furthermore, the polarizing power of the cation is directly proportional to its charge. In other words, the greater the positive charge on the cation, the stronger the polarization of the anion, leading to a higher degree of covalent character in the bond. The next factor to consider is the polarizability of anion. This term refers to the anion's capacity to undergo polarization or the distortion of electron density around it. The polarizability of the anion is also influenced by two key factors size and charge. For anions, polarizability increases as their size increases. Larger anions are more susceptible to having their electron density distorted. Consequently, as the size of the anion increases, its polarizability also increases, leading to a higher level of covalent character in the bond. And just as with cations, the polarizability of anions also increases with an increase in their negative charge. Indeed, a higher negative charge leads to increased electron density, thereby intensifying the polarization effect in the chemical bond.
Building on the concepts we have covered, we can formulate faience rules. And the first rule states, the smaller the cation or the larger the anion, the greater the covalent character in the chemical bond. Let us illustrate this with an example. In the alkali metal group of periodic table, we observe that the covalent character of halides decreases as we move from the top to the bottom. This change is attributed to the increasing size of the cation as we move down the group. For instance, when we compare alkali metal chlorides from lithium chloride to cesium chloride while keeping the halide ion constant, we find a reduction in covalent character. This is because with increase in size, the polarizing power of the cations decreases from lithium plus to cesium plus, resulting in a more pronounced ionic character in cesium chloride. You can clearly see the covalent character decreases from lithium chloride to cesium chloride. However, the trend changes when we maintain the same metal but alter the halide ion. For instance, consider the covalent character of the bond when we go from lithium fluoride to lithium iodide. Here, the increase in covalent character is due to the growing size of the anion. It is well known that polarizability and consequently the covalent character increases as the size of the anion becomes larger. Here is the second rule. As mentioned earlier, an increase in the charge on either the cation or anion leads to a greater covalent character in the bond. For example, in the case of chloride of sodium, magnesium and aluminium, as the positive charge increases from Na plus to Mg2 plus to Al3 plus, the covalent character intensifies due to the heightened polarization of the anion. Hence, this is the order of covalent character. It increases from sodium chloride to magnesium chloride to aluminium chloride. And this is the third rule. Cations with octet configurations characterized by NS2 NP6 tend to exhibit greater ionic character in their compounds. This phenomenon is a result of the effective shielding of the nuclear charge by the inner S and P electrons. This results in an increase in the size of the cation. You know that larger cations are less effective at polarizing anions, leading to a lower covalent character and a more pronounced ionic character in the bond. Examples of such cations include main group cations like Na+, Ca2+, etc. Continuing, this is the second part of third rule. We can also state that the cations with pseudo inert gas configurations characterized by NS2, NP6, ND10 configurations tend to display a greater covalent character. This is primarily due to poor shielding of nuclear attraction by the inner D electrons. Consequently, the outer electrons experience a stronger nuclear attraction resulting in smaller cations. And you know that smaller cations are more effective at polarizing anions leading to a higher covalent character in the bond. Examples of uh, such cations include Cu+, Ag+, and Zn2+, and others. That's all for now. Visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry finance rules by using any search engine. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments section or drop an email 
to adikmg@gmail.com